going to show you how to do a French twist. So what you're going to want to do, even though this is a smoother style, is you still want to start with a curly set just because it gives the hair a lot of movement and it'll help it to hold and stay in a place. So I'm actually just going to take a smoothing brush and brush a little bit of that wave out, smoothing it out lightly, detangling it. I'm going to leave the pieces out around the face because we always want a little softness around the face. And this is going to be a French twist but a very modern take on it. It's going to be smooth in the back and then have soft curls in the front. So you're going to start by draping the hair back into a low ponytail. And then a good trick if you don't want any bagginess at the neck would be to just tilt your head back slightly. Perfect. And we are going to start twisting the hair up. So as we twist, we're kind of, I'm kind of rouging it up with my fingers. The biggest thing with the French twist is you want to keep it centered and straight as you go. Then once you get your French twist to the height that you want to see it in, you're going to go ahead and start pinning. So what I do is I just hold that twist tight and you're going to start on the sides and you're going to just stick your pin in, pushing it into the, the bulk of the French twist, kind of evenly spacing them as I go. Now all you're going to do is you're going to take them and you're going to pin them, push them to the side and push them up. Push them to the side and push them up. Now you're going to definitely want to go in and kind of crisscross some bobby pins in there. Try to find that other pin inside and cross over the side of it. That's why I started evenly spacing my bobby pins because I can easily remember where the, they are even though I can't necessarily see them. Now you have a couple of options with the top section. You can continue the twist up and kind of tuck it in and you'll get a very smooth silhouette. You could leave the edges out for a nice modern look. Just kind of circle it around and toss it up. You could even, if you made this much higher, have the top portion come in and it will almost create like a fringe. We're going to actually just twist this up and we're going to, I'm going to put my finger in it and we're going to wrap it around my finger. Now we've left these pieces on the side out so we can softly drape them back and add them to the shape. I think what keeps this look modern is the, the softness that you're able to keep. The softer you can keep it, the better. So I'm draping in sections. I'm not draping the whole thing back at one time. That way I can create different movement throughout the hairstyle. So now you'll see as I've come to this side, I have a curl from my draping. You can choose to do a couple things. You can use that and create a very interesting kind of texture next to it, or you can smooth it underneath and tuck it inside. And there you have your finished French twist.